Welcome to our video about the new global parameters in IBM Cognos Analytics 11.0.7, where we'll give a brief overview of the feature, then cover creating a library of parameters, enabling global parameters, customizing parameter values for roles, my parameters where users can set their own values, authoring with global parameters, and enabling global parameters for a tenant. If you have prompts in reports that individual users will always answer the same way depending on their location, department, or perhaps a specific interest, you can use global parameters to pass in appropriate values each time the report is run. You can set default values for these parameters for all users in a role, and individual users can adjust these values to suit their needs, so that they have customized reports without needing to respond to prompts every time they are run. As a best practice, we recommend creating a library report or set of reports to contain all of your potential global parameters. Here, I have a report with text items listing the parameters it includes for easy reference. It has one query with filter conditions for each of the potential global parameters. A good naming convention is a lowercase p followed by the data item name, leaving the data item singular for single select prompts and pluralizing it for multi select prompts. For example, p product line and p product lines. In the filter expression, use equals for single select prompts and in for multi select prompts. I'll add a filter to allow users to select one or more countries and create the parameter p countries. I'm adding a comment to indicate that this parameter can have multiple values. Make sure any parameters you want to use as global parameters are set as required. You can see this on the properties for the filter. The query with your filters must be associated with a data container, as this one is to a list. And at least one data item must be added to the container. Once you have a report with required parameters, you can import them for use as global parameters. As an administrator, click Manage, select Customization, and switch to the Parameters tab. Click Import and select the report with the parameters. All required parameters used in queries in the report will be imported, including prompt macros if there are any. If one of the parameters has the same name as an existing parameter, it is ignored and the existing one remains intact. You can also add a new parameter manually by clicking the Add button, then assigning values to select from. For any of these parameters, you can specify a label to be used instead of the parameter name. Open the properties for the parameter and click the Set link next to Languages. You can set different values for the labels for each language your users work in. Next, set values for global parameters by user role. Open Accounts and navigate to the Cognos namespace. Open the properties for a role and switch to the Customization tab. Click Settings next to Parameters. Select a parameter you want to set values for for this role, then click Set Values. Specify the values and click Apply. For users in the Users France role, I'll just set France as a value for P countries. Then I'll set a default year. Back on the Role Properties Customization tab, expand Advanced and set the priority so that if a user belongs to more than one role, the parameter values for the more important role will be used. I'm also going to set default values for the Western Europe Manager's role, including more countries, and the same default year. The priority for customizations on this role is set to 8 because these settings should be used for a manager who belongs to both an individual country role as well as this broader role. When a user in one of these roles runs reports with corresponding parameters, the default values for the parameters will be used without prompting. These values will be used for optional parameters as well as required ones. I'm signing on as one of the members of the France role. This report has a required parameter for countries, but there was no prompt because the values we set for the role are being used. In the Report Viewer, if global parameters have been applied to the report, 
the My Parameters button will appear in the application bar. Click My Parameters to see a list of all the global parameters that are currently active. Global parameters not used in the report are listed, but grayed out. Local prompt values on the report itself will override any global parameters with the same name. In My Parameters, users can override the default values for the role with their own choices, and then those will be used each time the report is run. These settings are now in effect for any report this user runs that uses this parameter. To return to the default values for the role, click Reset. To customize parameters other than those active in a specific report, click My Parameters from the Welcome page. Once at least one global parameter has been created for your system, it's easy to use them while authoring a report. For example, here's a report that doesn't yet use any parameters. I'll add a prompt page and create a new prompt. When you drag in a new prompt control, you have the option of using a global parameter and selecting it from a list. In the Query view, when you are creating a query calculation, data item, or filter, there is a New Parameters tab that shows the available global parameters. I've switched back to my administrator user to show that you can also set default values for global parameters by tenant. Click Manage and select Multi-Tenancy. Open the properties for a tenant and switch to the Customization tab. Next to Parameters, click the Settings link and then work with parameters the same way we did earlier. Thank you for watching this video about global parameters. Please comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.